Welcome to the Geek Static. I can't help it, I have to talk about this Star Wars book news. On September 7th, 2023, John Jackson Miller, popular author, he wrote a lot of things with Star Wars, the expanded universe back in the day, a lot of comic books, he wrote books such as Knight Errant, he did The Lost Tribes of the Sith, and one of the most popular Star Wars books available to date, Kenobi. That novel was republished as an essential Legends novel. He also wrote the first Star Wars canon novel to be released, A New Dawn. So uh, they're bringing him back. They've invited John Jackson Miller to, to write a new Star Wars book, and that has me hyped. And I'll get into the reasons why here in just a few moments. But on Twitter, he made a post, or X, whatever the thing is called, and he said, Thrilled to announce my new novel, Star Wars The Living Force, out April 9, 2024, in hardcover, audiobook, and ebook from Del Rey. A grand adventure featuring every member of the Jedi Council in the year before Episode 1. More at io9, hashtag be mindful. And io9 is the one that broke this news. They have the whole story, and there's a lot there. You can go check that out. I'm going to read just a little bit from it here in a minute, but um, I'll tell you why I'm excited about this, this book. And uh, yeah, I know a lot of you are probably saying, wait, I thought you, you hate canon now. Um, yeah, I do, but I think this is an attempt to bring back some of the old fans. I, from what I've been seeing on Twitter or X, whatever it's called, a lot of hate on Star Wars. Uh, maybe that's just the people that pop up in my feed all the time. I don't know, but I see it on a lot of things. Um, this might be like a reboot of sorts. Get back to the roots. And one of the biggest things I say, reasons why I say that is, look at the cover of this book. This is classic Star Wars. This reminds me of the films. This reminds me of the expanded universe. Cla great classic artwork. Mace Windu, Yoda, uh, Depa Balaba, Yaddle, the goofy-headed guy, I can't remember what his name is, Coyote Mundi, that's it, Plo Koon, all these great characters on this book. The one that is missing that sticks out like a sore thumb is Qui-Gon Jinn. That, I, I, I like Qui-Gon Jinn a lot, he's a great Jedi, he was very, he's one of the most interesting characters from the prequel era, and of course we only got him for, you know, one episode. Um, for some reason, I am a huge fan of Episode One. I don't get it. I I know it's boring, but I love that film. I've probably seen that more than any of the other Star Wars book uh, movies. I almost said books. For some reason, I don't know why. I don't know why I've seen that movie so many times. But this cover art is just gorgeous. Hopefully, they don't change it. Where is Qui Gon and where is Kenobi? I'm sure we'll find out the answers. Um, in the pages of the book, or, you know, as time approaches, more information will be revealed. But go ahead and comment down below your thoughts on the artwork, and let me know if you think you're going to be reading this book when it's released. I most likely will be. I'm going to read just a little bit from this website to that, that talks about the book. I'm not going to read too much, but uh, just to get an idea of what this is all going to be about. The Living Force will see Qui-Gon alongside his Padawan learner, Obi-Wan Kenobi, implore the Jedi Council to think beyond the confines of its chambers at the heart of the Galactic Core on Coruscant when another ancient Jedi outpost on the planet Quinn is set to be decommissioned. After Qui-Gon pushes the order to stop turning inwards and serve the peoples of the galaxy, the entire Council finds itself venturing to Quinn on a mission of outreach. Except, the problem with outreach means that some folks are going to take the rare opportunity of the Jedi Council leaving Coruscant to make a play to wipe out Jedi leadership in one fell swoop. With some of the counselors trying to see the future while others are reeling under the bureaucratic demands of an increasingly corrupt Republic, Qui-Gon challenges them to get out of the Council Chamber and rediscover the Jedi that they used to be. The response is kind of like a road trip for all 12 counselors, giving us the first in-depth adventures with many of them, and a look into a side of the galaxy that can't be seen from their temple on Coruscant. We also learn what it's like to live in the immediate prequel era, whether you're a civilian, a member of the nascent Republic military, or the underworld. John Jackson Miller goes on to say, I'm delighted to return to the Star Wars universe for a story that's jam-packed with adventures for the counselors and for Qui-Gon and Obi-Wan Kenobi to boot. Miller concludes with, as the former later says to the latter in The Phantom Menace, be mindful of the living force. So that's all I'm going to say here on this video, but I'm excited about this story. I will most likely get this novel, read it, and then review it for you guys. Um, 
You know, I'm not big on canon stuff these days, but this just sounds interesting. That cover really catches my eye, and with John Jackson Miller coming back to write more Star Wars in a novel form, all right, sign me up. I'll read it. So hit that thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, to so be notified when I post a review of The Living Force. Have a good one. Thank you.